Hello everyone and welcome back to This is the Police where we're on day 14 and our headlines for the day are Mayor's nephew expresses desire to become FPD chief, city crime rate increased by 31%, Freeburg farmers report record harvest. So, how much story are we going to get today? I, I really enjoy this game, but I think it is a little too story heavy at times. Like, you have to sit for a really long time to get through it. But, you know, for me, I'm always just like antsy to play, so it might just be me. Alright, let's start the day. Looks like we don't have any story today, we just have to police chief. I can do that. All right. Nothing interesting. Oh my goodness, the Sands need help. Our people were scouting ahead of Mr. Sands' movements. And we spotted a punk carrying a gun. There should be from my bastards. Let's get together and turn the tables on his slime ball crew. Nope. Sorry. And it sounds like for every one of these I deny I have to do one, at least to keep it even. So I'm going to try and do the ones that require the fewest number of officers. The attendant at the arcade called in the complaint about two teenagers who broke the steering wheel off of the turbo nitro machine and are currently fleeing the scene. Yeah, don't do that. Um, we're going to send these two. I'll do the next one. You need three cops for that. They're going to get wise. That they're part of a mafia war. Okay, uh, my wa the wife of the mayor's press secretary loves crossing Tuesday's her birthday sends some men with good voices. All right, fine. Giving you two good officers. Then again, everyone on this shift is just really good. No. No. All right, destruction of property report. Yeah, we got them. I don't understand, like, when it doesn't say civilians unharmed, does that mean they were harmed but no one was killed? Because it tells you when they die. Illegal arms sales. An eyewitness reports a man is selling weapons on the street right out of the trunk of his car. Someone's getting shot. Are you here? You need to finally do something. Okay, let's send everybody out there. I don't like that two of my officers are tied up in choral singing, but we need to keep the mayor happy, too. Mayor's a weird guy. I don't know what to do about him on a general basis. Hmm. Alright. Oh, goodness. Okay. I can send those two. That's it, though. You now have my entire crew, minus the people who are singing. Music is quite catchy. Oh, another one. Okay. Oh, wait. That's not good. Oh, God. A dock worker cited several armed men making their way between some cargo containers soon after they heard several shots and some screams. The precise number of men is unknown. Port officials re report seeing at least five people. I don't have anybody ready. Like, they're all here. Illegal armed sales report. All right, no one died. Good. Ooh. Loot found. All right, I'm curious as to what happens when we ask the Mafia to sell it. I don't think they're going to... Oh, they might be back in time. It's going to be tough. All right, and I have to send people out for this one. It's just one. One of our minor deliveries got intercepted by some punks. Boxes of towels, napkins, and various cooking utensils that were supposed to be going to the ranch are now scattered across the highway like a circus sideshow. They're having laughing as look like clowns. We're not too broken up about the towels, but we need to teach those punks a lesson. Alright, I'll send you guys one officer, and only one. Come on, I need you guys back. Oh my gosh, okay. How many does this need? Three. I had a bad feeling about coming to you again, but you're really the only one who can help me with this. Those records that my ex sued me for, well, I got them back, of course, and I guess this could be nothing, but her big nose brother has his sights on him. The idiot hired a private detective who's been at my store three days straight, and now he has the audacity to come to my house and accuse me of being involved in the records' disappearances. I don't know if he has any evidence, but the risk is too high. Can you scare them both? Make sure they stop poking their noses in other people's business. My store is open for you anytime. Um... So, she's going with him. It's not even close to all the officers that we could give. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to just not 
do this one. Oh, gosh. I have no one. Suspicious former psychiatric patient Laboco Clark called the police because a maniac was harassing people at the mall. There's a killer on the loose, so stop at nothing. That sounds like a false report. So I'm not too beat up about not having anyone to send to that. Um, but I am upset that we can't do anything at the city center. I don't have three people. I'm sorry. We just, I don't have that kind of, of people. Suspicious individual. Oh, the police detachment arrived on the scene and found three corpses and six criminals armed with automatic weapons surrounding the cargo container. Criminals spot the police and two of them already rushed to escape. Shoot them. The remaining criminals are hiding inside a shipping container. You're surrounded. Come out with your hands up. No one looks like dead. All right. Oh, we got something. Found cocaine. One of the mafia sell it. It's cocaine. <laughs> cocaine usually sells pretty well. Suspicious individual report. The man's suspicions were aroused by a shopping center employee wearing a costume. He's dressed the hero of the morning, dressed in blood. He's paying to menace visitors as part of the fun, but wasn't going to kill anyone. Okay, so yeah, that was a false report. So I don't feel bad about not sending anybody. But I do, I'm sad about the records thing. Because, I mean, we helped him the first time. We should have just kept going with it, you know. But I don't know. It might have been bad news. I can't tell with this game. <laughs> I'm sad that we lost two officers for the whole day just to make the mayor happy. That was kind of a stupid thing. But we have failed in the past with him before. And we just want, you know, him to give us nice things when we ask every week. So it's still tied. <sighs> And I'm hoping that I can at least keep it tied. I don't know what will happen if it's tied. Do they both leave? Because that'd be best. Mayor approves his commitment to nepotism. <laughs> Great. Mayor Rogers, if my nephew wants to lead, to lead the police, I'll support him. City police chief not elected position, says Mayor Rogers. I mean, I don't think police chief is an elected position anywhere that I've heard of. But, oh, my dog died yesterday. I'm terribly depressed. Can I go home? No. My kid's been causing trouble again. They've called me in the school. Can you give me some time to deal with this? Yes. Okay, we have stripes. So I'm going to give a stripe to um, him because he deserves it. Start the day. All right. So we've got all of our police officers today. What city hall one? Oh, job slot, job slot, raise, SWAT upgrade. I want to raise. They don't give me that much money every week, so. I'm asking for a raise. Hire female cops. Considering certain recent events, we're obliged to grant some concessions to the feminists. You make sure at least half the staff are women. You have three days. I have mainly men. Like, there's one woman here. One, two, three, four. Are there even that many women in the market? I mean, there are a few. But do we have any, like, do we have any good reasons to fire anybody? This guy's name is Donut. We could hire him, he's too old, but he's also such a good police officer. Shivers, we can't fire... Yeah, there's, like, no one we can fire. Oh, we could fire DeBrito. He's not here today, but, yeah, there's no other reason. Like, I'm fairly certain there's just no reason to fire anybody, and I don't want to fire people for, you know, bad reasons. I don't know. Let's see if there's any reason. Like, I don't think anyone's failed three assignments in a row. I, I don't think anyone has, but I'm checking just in case. 
I don't want to fire anybody illegally. So there's, oh, there are two people we can fire because they're too old, but they're both good people. Like, oh, there's three. Debrito is the only one that really isn't, and we could get, you know, this girl as a detective. She's a little bit more professional than him, too. Um, but I don't, I don't want to do that. A taxi driver heard someone screaming and noticed a few people gathering on the bridge as he was driving past towards the port. He stopped to see if anyone needed help, but as he approached, he saw a man was threatening to throw himself and two children into the icy water below. Jason left us. I lost my job and my house. There's no way we'll survive. It's better if everything just ends now. To the taxi driver, it looked like suicide. Yeah, that would look like suicide. So, go. That sounds a lot like suicide slash murder of the children. An elderly man speaking in a raspy whisper just reported a break in. There's someone in the house. They're pouncing. They're pounding on the door and marching around all downstairs. Hurry. We can send SWAT to that. No, I'm not sending SWAT to that. That sounds like a false alarm, or at least a possible false alarm, like. There are a lot of things that we don't know about, but we'll see. I'm sending four people. Two tearful boys, clearly in a state of shock, are standing dangerously close to the edge of bridge beside their drunken, distraught father, is slowly pushing the children close to the precipice. Tell me about your husband. He did say he. So I think if we said wife, he'd be distraught. Strong gust of wind almost blows one of the children off the bridge, but he recovered last night and stumbled on the ground and scuffed a knee. Don't agitate him. The man slurs his words, saying there's no point delaying the inevitable. You don't have the whole lies in front of you. can't make a decision for him. These are, there are people who care about you. They have their whole lives in front of them. Yes! Nobody died! Oh, I was so nervous. Oh, I was so, so nervous. All right, well, they need to hurry back up so that we can get to this job. It's really close to the police station. won't take long. All right, breaking and entering report. There was no one except the dogs. They're scratching at the door. They want to go outside. Yeah, I was worried about that. It just sounded very false alarmy. There was no real evidence. They didn't go check it out or anything. Like, All right. Secretary Abigail... Jones told the police that her boss, Martin Quebec, returned from a meeting in a quite a state. When he entered, he took a bag of white powder from his safe and shut the door. Now he's yelling incessantly, making a scene, demanding his secretary to deliver him the head of a unicorn or I'll cut her throat with a letter opener and then go after the rest of her family. This sounds like a man with a cocaine addiction. I'm assuming that's what the white powder was. A member of the family's at a restaurant having dinner, a secret lover, but because the affair was secret, he was light on protection and one of the Vargas agents was able to slip a grenade in the room. This job's best handled by the police, unofficially, of course. I mean, that's really illegal. Okay, just Shivers and Castile will go deal with it as soon as he's back. There we go. Because we should probably actually get the Sands to be ahead. I'm just really worried because, like, we're sending Castile, but I'm trying to limit it so not everyone can testify against us. We limit it to a few people, and then we get rid of them. All right, we caught the offender. Oh, gosh. Um, ask the Mafia to sell it. I don't know what happens when we ask the Mafia to sell things, because I haven't noticed the money going up, like, but I also haven't been paying that much attention, so I don't know. Maybe it is. We should probably also take some evidence to the police station, just so that they don't find it strange that evidence is constantly going missing. So next time we'll take it back. I'm assuming stuff like this matters, but I don't know. All right. A man wearing a suit walked into the lobby of the bank, locked the doors, and proceeded to kill several customers. He never saw a word. He just started firing at people, reported one of the eyewitnesses. A dozen people remain inside the building, and the criminal's demands are yet unknown. This is something you send SWAT for. I'm really nervous. I don't want people to die. Oh my goodness. Alright, I'll send two more people, but that's it. I need you guys to deal with it. Please. Oh lord, the sands need help. 
and we need two people. So we ground them in as one of our key assets in the large accounting firm. She got home from work, found her house was on fire, and the assholes who started standing around admiring their handiwork. Um, like, this stuff is illegal. Like, if this call came in, like, these people are arsons. Rather obviously. Like, okay, everyone's heading back, and it's it's going pretty quickly. So I think we might be able... Oh, no. We lost a civilian. So we lost some points there. But it, we should be able to get two people heading out here. Then the Sands will be in the lead. It's the throwing them into the fire that's the bad thing. So you guys go. You know, but like arresting them for arson could be completely legal and it wouldn't raise any suspicions. Like, we know these people set this woman's house on fire. Go arrest them. That's illegal. It'd be fine. Hit and run report. Oh, three new frames. Okay, let's see if we can do anything here. So, they got in their car. They ran him down? Nope. Maybe first their car was nearby? Oh wait, a dark colored car. Sorry, not red. It's these guys. So we need more film. We need more shots because it's the black car. The I need to actually pay more attention now that it's not just going to be the films that I originally get. Because it used to be those were what it was. So yeah, Castile has definitely been in on a lot of mafia stuff, which is concerning to me. But oh well. Wait, how is it 4 and 4? I don't understand. I didn't help them at all today. There might just be stuff we're not hearing about. There's probably stuff we're not hearing about. Businessman expresses desire to leave city. Movie production studio may appear in Freeburg. 86% of residents oppose demolition of Corn Monument. Alright, we can do one more day in this episode, I think. It's the weekend. I got some extra time for long episodes. All right, no one wants to call in sick? Great. Should we play something else just to see what it's like? Shopping? Sure, why not? Let's try it. I like my catchy music, but sometimes it's good for change, for there to be change. All right, request result. You're in 10% more. That's a nice raise, a 10% raise. Uh, just thinking about things in my personal life where I wish I could get 10% raises. Your friend sent you a share from the sale of a non-automatic weapon. Okay. Share 50% with my staff. Because I'm assuming that'll make people happier. The Sands family main attorney is under guard around the clock, and that goes double for his children. But before we could pick them up from school, one of the Vargas punts kidnapped them. We don't know how they found them, living under false names. Anyway, you need that quickly. They can't have gotten far. All right, I'm going to send these two, because kidnapping, that's not okay. Like, what I don't understand is so many of these things could just be phrased in a way that it doesn't look like you're helping the mafia at all. This is kidnapping. That's never okay, and the police should always be involved with missing children. Freeburg Elementary School. Two senior students began to fight right in the middle of chemistry class. Their teacher, Dolores Ponder, first tried to calm them down, but when she attempted to separate them, she was poked in the eye. All right, perhaps not the too best, but you know, teenagers I'm going to assume it's teenagers because it was chemistry class I didn't take chemistry till high school, but I might not be the only one, oh goodness okay, we've got new stuff going on at night, a little known painting by Dutch master de Vroom recently shown for the first time, disappeared from the museum one of the museum's windows is broken, there's a brick lying on the floor inside Send all of my best detectives. Because we don't seem to get multiples of these at once. Not with like the same shift anyway. Not yet. Maybe we will soon. But it hasn't happened yet. Mrs. Dunbar said that the nurse tried to sell her drugs right in the hospital. I went to the doctor after I broke my arm. The nurse heard me complain about the pain. Waited until the doctor left. Then started telling me about the pills she could give me. Better than Vicodin, according to her. That's strange. A nurse should not be making such pharmaceutical decisions. That's for the doctors to do. Let's see what the report is. We caught the offender, which was probably a high school student. Even though it said elementary school on the thing. Alright. 
I wake the museum every hour. The alarm is off. City Hall won't allocate the money to fix it. I didn't hear glass breaking. It's a big museum. When I went down this way again, it was already early morning. Window was broken. The canvas was cut from the frame. There's no trace of anyone around. Just a brick laying on the floor. The parking lot was... I like how this is coming from the camera. Like, it's a testimony. Parking lot was empty all night. In the morning, a cyclist went past with a tube on his shoulder. A guy slowly rolled into the parking lot and then left the bike for a couple of minutes. Went out of sight and he came back, got on the bike and left. I suffer from insomnia and often go cycling around the city late at night. I took a tube and some other equipment, so I wouldn't have to go back home before my morning classes at the art school. I stopped the museum to pee. I admitted I... I like to mark the corner of the building. I imagine one day my work will be hanging inside. Oh my god, this tiny, tiny letters. In his lectures on the works of the Dutch masters, Van Bram van der Hoff always sharply criticized the works of de Vroom. He dismissed the legendary artist as overpriced mediocrity and was very amused when an unknown de Vroom painting was discovered in the city dump. He said it was already in his proper place. He was less amused when he learned that the de Vroom painting would be hung in the museum. I wouldn't be surprised if it was Bram who broke into the museum and stole the painting to burn it or cut it into tiny pieces. The glass is almost completely broken out. A grown man could easily climb through the window and not cut himself. Most of the shards are lying on the pavement outside the museum. Outside the museum? But there's a brick on the inside. Someone's trying to trick us here, because if they'd thrown the brick in, most of the glass would be on the inside. But it's on the outside. That is interesting. That is a key detail that we should remember that I will not remember. But I should. So, at least I said it now. So that later when I forget, you know that I'm not completely stupid. All right, we got a report from the drug sales. We arrested the nurse. Very good. Oh, my goodness, we got cocaine. That's not a pain medication. We're going to bring it to the police station like I said we would. Mr. Boyd, I am a wealthy man. I'm concerned about the faith of our fair city. I would like to fund three additional officer positions at your police department, but I must make one condition. My adopted son is to take one of the new jobs. You mustn't fire him under any circumstances. Do we have a deal? Who is he? And why is he so bad? There must be a reason that he is that bad. Oh my god, Percy looks interesting. Alright, so we'll hire one person for each shift. Oh, he just looks too old. And there are no women to hire. We're supposed to be... Oh, Jan's a woman, sorry. Hire for shift A. We're going to hire for shift B. So yeah, he's got five professionalism. Seems to have alcohol problems. Some goons grabbed the half-sister, one of our family members, right off the street. Her driver called us from a nearby payphone, but he's a wimp and wouldn't actually do anything. From the description we got, it sounds like Varga's men. If you get there first, hold on to them for us. Don't hurt them too much. Just make sure you don't let them escape. We have something special. Must send Percy. He didn't say not to get him killed. You know, we could potentially have him killed, and then it wouldn't be an issue. Surely this guy knows that being a police officer is dangerous, because I'm assuming Percy's going to fail things left and right. His professionalism is five. He doesn't care. This is a really good uh, shift, though. They're all very professional. A parking valet just called in, reporting that a girl exiting an expensive car was approached by a man wearing a hood who threatened to her and took her bag. The fact that we can only send two people for theft is strange to me. Like, so many things now, you can send so many more people to. So it's weird when we can only send two for something like that, not like a side errand. An older prisoner, tired of eating the food served by the prison cafeteria, made his way to the kitchen carrying a shiv, intent on having a word with the chef. A guard called the police as he was reluctant to enter the kitchen for fear of further provoking the prisoner. Go on, you guys. Robbery report? We caught the guy. So these guys are both very professional now. Flores and Kochi. I wonder how many more calls we'll get in today. This guy. Uh, Salik Percy. But we got more people, which is really helpful. The kitchen floor is decorated with broken plates and an overturned pan filled with muddy slush. An elderly prisoner is sitting on a stool, dipping his hand into the pot of slush and shoving it towards the cook face, yelling, you try to eat this shit. Let's cook up something else. Alright. So now we head back. Are we going to get anything else today?
The mustache on Percy is just interesting. And he's exhausted right now. Like, he has no energy. I pretty much need to tell him not to come in for, like, a week to rest. All right, we've got three new frames. It's probably, yeah, we need five, so... Can't do anything yet. Settings up there. Anything else? Or are we just waiting? I think we're just waiting for the end of the day. Yep. We are. How are we still tied? I don't know. I'm obviously not hearing everything that's going on. That's just me. Alright guys, that is going to do it for this episode of This is the Police. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'm the Purple Peggy Sis, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!